What's good YouTube? I am back with another one and some crappy lighting. There we go. So today it's pretty chilly. Um, it's probably 60, 64, 65 uh, right now, but the water is at 69 degrees. So that's a good number, but it's also pretty cold. So what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to slow it down. I'm going to slow it down and just do what I would do for bass on the fish docks. So I'm using DOA shrimp. I'm using gulp shrimp. I'm using little swim baits. Um, and then right now we're just searching for a fish, whether it be a redfish, whether it be a snook, trout, I don't care. And then after we get done doing this, we're going to go have some lunch and then we're going to head up and do a crick um, where we can hopefully find a giant fish. A lot of guys around the area have been saying big snook have been going into shallow creeks. So we're going to go give it a shot, but I'll see you guys at the first dock and hopefully catch our first fish. Okay, so I see a bunch of rocks. I see a dock, and I see a bunch of rocks and docks up there. That's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here with this little white swim bait by Gambler, Gambler Lures, there we go. And all I'm doing is skipping up and getting as close as possible, letting it sink down, and then a steady retrieve. Something. Here we go. There, let's go, dude. Yes. So, little snook here on the swim bait. You guys can see these fish do not like being picked up. I'll tell you that much. But it's a little snook, little slimy guy. Uh, well, that's one bait. I'm not going to show him off too much. He's just a little guy, but it's pretty freaking sweet. We're going to get him out of here. There we go. First fish. All right, now that I caught a fish, now I have to study. I caught that fish on rocks near a dock, and it bit because I let it sink. So let it sink down. It literally, it ate it on the fall, like a bass would. Oh my gosh, I got smoked, dude. I don't know what that, I don't know how that, I'm speechless, that's what that was. Or something. Damn it. Hook it bent out. No, it didn't. Dude, that was a big that was a big red. That was a big red. No doubt in my mind. God dang it dude. I guess I'm horse and fish, dude. That thing was just it was heading for the dock, so I tried to stop it and uh, clearly stopped it a little too much. This looks like there's gonna be some fish living here. We got rocks, we got tide moving a little bit. Oh, it's money. One hour later. Alrighty, a brief little update of what we got going. So we caught that one snook, um, and then we had some other bites. Now, a couple fish felt pretty decent that we lost, but it is what it is. That's why it's called fishing, not catching. But we're gonna go eat some lunch, because I'm very hungry. I could eat, Never mind. I'm very hungry, I'm gonna go eat some food, and then we're gonna head up into some shallow water uh, back in some cricks, looking for some big fish, looking for some big snook, mainly. Um, but I'm gonna eat, and then I'll see you guys back on the water. Alrighty, so we are back on the water. A little bloody nose issue, but uh, it's not gonna stop us. Had some chili dogs, saw them refueled, ready to go. We got about probably 25, 30 minute boat ride to our next spot. Um, but we're gonna get back in some, back in some stuff that no one fishes. So. We're gonna run, I'll see you guys there. All right, we're here. Um, made this huge run just to find out my trolling motor's not gonna work. That's awesome. 
So I don't know how to fix that, but that's kind of, that's really frustrating, uh, especially when I make this long run, waste a lot of fuel to get over here, um, and then now my trolling motor isn't gonna function. So I guess hopefully we can at least catch a fish or two. There's gotta be something cruising this, this little channel that feeds a creek. Um, we got a huge oyster bar over here. We got a nice little sandbar. Really the best of everything. I'm so positive there's fish here. It's insane. There has to be. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. 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 Yes, dude. We got here. Oh, nice little snook, but that's a fish. Thank God. I was getting very frustrated. Okay, so little snook here. Obviously not ginormous, but uh, it's giving me hope as to where fish are. But that's a start. Now I caught this guy. I caught him on this little this little uh, gulp shrimp and uh, just bounced the bottom really slow. You guys saw. So we'll get this guy back in the water. Holy, thank you. Never wanted to catch a fish so bad in my life, seriously. Alrighty. And he's got plenty of energy, he's out of here. Yes. All right, well, let's do it again. Alrighty, so, hear me out. So I went fishing last Thursday, would have been. I didn't fish Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but now I'm back in the water on Tuesday and I'm slowly starting to regret my decision. It's windy and rough, but gotta get some content because when I caught, when I went fish Thursday, I only caught two fish, it's not enough for a video. So now I have artificials, I have live shrimp, you know, we're bound to catch something. So I'm gonna stop talking. Um, for you guys who do fish Marco, you'll know exactly where I am. Here's all of the hotels and condos and stuff. So you'll know where I'm at. But I'm just gonna get after it. Jerk bait. Boom. Let's get it. Let's get after it. I'm moving back into some more water where this actually makes sense because it is freaking rough out here today. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna hoist the anchor and get out of here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Waves could freaking sink a 30 footer. I'm out. I'm out. It's a little, like a little deeper up there. I'm still dragging sand. I'm throwing a jerk bait. I'm um, just trying to pass the time because I'm floating, more like trolling down a little area here. Um, it's too shallow for me to get the motor out, so. Oh my gosh. We got bait. That's crazy. It's live, you can like literally see. Come on, move. Move. There it goes. Alrighty. Well, there goes that. What a day, dude. It's cast of that bait off. I don't know what happened there. Oh, yeah. What a day. What a day. What a day. Alrighty. So the trolling motor, 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 remote, motor, remote. There it is. Trolling motor, motor, remote. It's a lot to say there. Um, Stop working. So now I'm anchored up off this beach. I'm gonna throw some live shrimp on a bucktail. Just looking for something, dude. I don't care. Um, most likely, probably catch a trout or a jack, mackerel. I don't know. There's a lot of things out here that run these beaches. So we're just gonna see what we can do. There we go. There's a fish. About time. Let's see what we got. Little Jack Craval. Uh, what else will we catch on this nice, fine, windy day, huh? Alrighty, well, we know there's fish here. That's a plus. 
This is not what I would like to catch, but I guess it's one more fish than I've already caught today. So little jack on the bucktail jig. It's not too special, so we're just gonna get him back. There's something. There's something. Feels a lot like another jack. I don't know, it's, it's head shaking pretty hard. What do we got here? Okay. There's chunk bait. Chunk bait right here, little jack curveball. Take the guy off and then uh, cut him up. Alrighty, so little update. I'm still throwing the bucktail, uh, but I have my rod right here. I have my bait caster with uh, that chunked up jack on it. So we'll see what happens there. All right, I'm gonna be casting off the front here, bucktail jig, but the thing about this though, is I have a rod off the back with that jack on it. So I need to be making sure I keep looking back there um, because I legit could get, could get spooled if I don't look back there. So there's a little jack, another small fish, but one of those I landed in that kayak. No, I can throw that far, but uh, he's out of here. Found some more jacks at least. That's, I guess found some more fish, but I need to catch something. I want to catch something with some size. I'm able to find numbers. I'm just not able to find size. Another fish, probably a small jack again. Cause what's new? <laughs> it is, dude, why? Like I've been saying, I can find numbers, no problem. It's just size. Mm. Like where are the biggins at? Let me find the biggins. I'm just kind of restricted on where I can and can't go because of the waves. There's some big waves out there. I don't feel like getting beat up around. All right, this is pulling a little bit better. It's another jack feels like, but I mean, it's not as small. Mid, mid conversation with you guys. I told you guys, I can find numbers, no problem. It's just finding the size. Bloodiest fish ever. Another one. Another fish. Oh, I might, have a, I might have a pompano. To be completely honest, no light on this guy, dude. Oh, I definitely. This is definitely a pomp. Oh, dude, just get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Yeah, a little pompano here. There we go. There's a little beach pompano. In the real world, he's not the right size. If I do this, maybe he is. But uh, we're gonna get him out of here, slimy little guy. Ready, little pompano, treat him with respect, treat him nicely. There he goes. All right, so we've caught fish, but nothing really sizable. So I'm just gonna keep throwing, but just to give you guys an idea of what I've been doing. So I went fishing last week for the 10, in the 10,000 islands. I didn't hook a single thing. Um, spent like five hours there. No, I caught a ladyfish, caught a ladyfish. Um, other than that, nothing. So I was like, that can't be a video. So then I went out Thursday and I caught two snook, but I'm like, that can't be a video. So now I'm out here. Um, out by just the hotels whatever for you guys to fish on here um, caught some fish so far but I'm still not really satisfied so we're just gonna keep throwing and hope for the best but gosh I need better I need some bigger fish to eat I need some content there we go
It's uh, biting like a little jack. What? Dude, what? Uh, uh, you guys, I just caught a sheep's head on a bucktail jig. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys just watched the sheep's head eat this bucktail jig, dude. That is a first for me. I've never caught a sheep's head on a bucktail, but it doesn't surprise me too bad. So we're going to let little guy back, get him out of here. There we go. Another fishy. Try a sheep's head. What the heck, dude? On the bucktail. Look at this, dude. Freaking jumbo sheep's head on a freaking little jig. And you can't tell me it didn't try to eat it. Look at that thing down its throat. Like, come on. You guys want to see the teeth on these things. Look at those. Hey guys, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty freaking sweet. Sheep's head on a bucktail jig. Couldn't even catch him on a full piece of shrimp. Let's get him out of here before he dies. There he goes. That is so weird. Oh my gosh. All right, started slow last week. We literally caught two fish in three days. Um, can't start much slower than that. But other than that, we found a way to catch fish today, which I'm happy about. Um, as far as size. Not really, but uh, we put up numbers. So I guess we'll make a video out of that. That being said, like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. Just hit the button. Just hit the hit the red button. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned for more. Peace.